Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your photo news fix. Here's a quick reminder that Photo News Fix comes out every Tuesday, and if we have enough photo news stories, Friday as well. This Photo News Fix is brought to you by the Things That May Be Stranger shirt, which you can pick up right now at store.fronosphoto.com for only $16.99 plus shipping. So go get it before you end up like Barb. She got eaten by the gargamoil. I don't even know what it's called, okay. First up, GoPro has announced not one, but two new action cameras. The first one, as expected, is the GoPro Hero 6, which leaked a few weeks ago. Based on the leak, we knew that the camera would do 4K at 60 frames a second, but we had no idea it would also do 120 frames per second at 2.7K and an insane 240 frames per second in full HD 1080. With frame rates like this, you can expect to get much cleaner slow motion footage. The more frames you have when it comes to slow motion, the cleaner the footage will be when slowed down. You now will have the ability to record in H.265, aka format, which offers a smaller file size with better compression than the older H.264. Now, if you're looking for a proper explanation on how this algorithm actually works, Silicon Valley explains it perfectly. So what makes the new GoPro capable of shooting at such high frame rates? A new in-house made processing chip called the GP1, which is said to double the performance of the Hero 5. You also find better digital image stabilization as well as faster Wi-Fi thanks to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi chip inside. It's priced at $100 more than the five, which means it will sell for $499. But like with all GoPros, it's not just about the camera, it's about what you do with the footage once you have it. Now, if you're looking Looking to learn how to edit video, may I recommend that you check out the Fronos Photo Guide to Video Editing? You can check it out right now because it's $100 off at fronosphoto.com slash video hyphen editing hyphen guide. Who made that link? I, I did. Secondly, GoPro unveiled the Fusion, which is a 5.2K 360 degree action camera. Now we've seen 360 cameras from a bunch of other companies in the last few years, but they have yet to take off. The major issue with 360 degree footage is what do you do with it once you've got it? How do you edit it? Now GoPro's done something smart. They focused on the software, which should help the everyday person edit their footage. GoPro founder Nick Woodman says, you shouldn't have to point at what you want to film. You should just be able to film what you're experiencing. Let's take a quick look at that statement. Look at me, I'm not even looking. No, I'm still trying to read the prompter and I'm getting great footage. Why, yes, yes, it's because because I'm using a GoPro Fusion. It's so amazing. It's, it's actually not, it's a, Nikon Key Mission 360, which I may be the only one who uses. GoPro is touting what they're calling overcapture, which when you see it in action, makes total sense. The software allows you to take 1080 sections of your video, flatten it out, and tell your story better. I guess that's what Nick meant when he said you shouldn't have to look at what you're shooting. And with that being said, here's the new GoPro spokesperson. I just call to see how much I care. Nick, I got the footage, right, Nick? Nick, are you over there? Now the Fusion is expected to start shipping on November 30th at a whopping price tag of $700. Does this interest you or do you think 360 and VR video just isn't there yet? Getty Images has officially banned Photoshopping of models to look thinner or larger due to a new French law. Oui, oui, you want some French fries? In 2015, France passed a law that required commercial images with digitally retouched models to be labeled so people knew. The new law took effect October 1st and Getty has stated that photographers may not submit any creative content depicting models whose body shapes have been retouched to make them look thinner or larger. If a photographer submits an altered image, it will result in a breach of their agreement with Getty. If a magazine in France uses an altered image without proper disclosure, they will face a fine of up to $45,000. That's a lot of wine, Steven. It's about time the practice of over photoshopping models to look like something they are not is finally being addressed. And finally, continuing on the topic of altering images or not, a Texas woman has lost her job after her couple's boudoir photo shoot spread across the internet. Now here's the story, Stephanie and her fiance, Aaron, 
Not spelled A-A-Ron for some reason. A-A-Ron. It's pronounced Aaron? Son of a- The photograph by Bria Terry of Wolf and Rose Photography. The photos depict two people in love embracing, kissing, and being totally lost in the moment. DIY Photography writes, the reason why the photos went viral is the body positive message, considering that Stephanie is a plus size lady. In the photo, she looks comfortable in her own skin, in love with her fiance, whose name is still not spelled A-A-Ron. You done messed up, A-A-Ron! And she's sending a powerful message for all of us who don't fit in the mold of the beauty standards. Now I wanna take a quick moment and say, can we stop labeling photos as being body positive because that would mean that there's something out there that would also be body negative. We don't need to justify or label everything. Just call it what it is in this case, a beautiful moment between two people in love. So what if she's plus sized? It doesn't matter. But that's the world we live in today. If something isn't seen as normal, it's seen as being bad. There doesn't need to be a justification of any kind put on a photo shoot. If someone doesn't have the ability to handle what they're seeing, that's their failure. Seriously, can we stop labeling things? If somebody wants to post an image and that's how they feel, so be it. But it doesn't need to say, hashtag body positive. Just be all right with it. According to BuzzFeed, Austin Bank, Texas NA, told Stephanie that the topless photos were inappropriate for a family-oriented company in which she was employed. However, she was wearing a swimsuit bottom and a strapless top that's worn with backless dresses. Still, the employer had already made their decision, not that they could have reversed it, and Stephanie was left without a job. Oh yeah, on top of that, she's 20 weeks pregnant and now will lose her health insurance and any paid maternity leave she would have had. And on top of that, the bank said they were concerned about how many people would see her photos and how it would reflect on the company. How do you like me now? Hey Texas NA, you could take your BS family oriented company statement and shove it. You're concerned with how many people would see the images and how it would reflect on you? Are you kidding me? Do you fire people for posting images of themselves on the beach in a bikini as well? It's one thing if they're snorting a line of coke or shooting heroin outside the fro factory, but this is a joke. Would you fire someone because they wore a different team's jersey than the hometown team because you were worried that that would reflect poorly on you? Get a life, you oversensitive, overreacting prude babies. Steven, is the boss gonna fire me? Hello HR, this is Jared. What do you do, take his shirt off again? And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you're on Facebook, give this a Sherry McSherison. To check out the last photo news fix, you can go ahead and click right here. That's it. Jared Poland Frono's photo.com. See ya. Oh, you have a problem with an employee? Is his name Jared? Yeah, that guy's an asshole. I just count to say how much I care, yeah, yeah. I think I got the footage, guys. I hope I don't get fired for this.